Hello everyone, today I'm going to tune the barometer of the Nano multi V board of this Super X mini quadcopter. I'm used to the NASA and the APM altitude hole. When it comes to the multi V, the altitude hole doesn't seem to do very well with the default settings. It seems to be going up and down and I could not get it to hold steady at a fixed altitude. Finally I realized what is the problem. First of all you have to know the hover position. In this case you could see that the fuel safe throttle is 1588. This is the stick position whereby my quadcopter will descend gracefully. So if I want it to hold its altitude, the throttle has to be 1590. You got to try an error on your own Super X quadcopter to find out what value is yours. For mine, if, for mine it's 1590. So now if we go to the altitude hole, let me do a search. Okay, altitude hole. So what you got to do is you have to set that magic number here. This second statement, you have to uncomment it and set the altitude hole throttle midpoint to that magic number, which your quadcopter is not moving up or down. This is very important. Without this setting, you could never get the barometer to work properly and your Super X quadcopter will be jumping up and down. With the correct setting, it is going to work very well, which I'm going to show you later. Okay, for the other statement here, the other parameter, I set it to 20, it used to be 50, and I set it to 20, because with 50, I'm getting major correction movement, and I don't want that. So with 20 steps, it seems to be correcting more gradually. So these are the two settings which I've changed and this made all the difference. Okay, now I'm going to show you the flight with these new settings in the altitude hole mode. Okay, I'm now in the normal mode. Okay, I'm going to switch to altitude hole. Now I'm in altitude hole and I could adjust the altitude using my throttle. I could still adjust the altitude with the throttle stick as you can see. It's almost like the NASA where there's very little change in altitude with lots of stick movement. Okay, I'm going to let it hold steady here. Okay, and as you can see, I'm just flying with my left hand, not touching the throttle. It's holding the altitude for me. Yep. Still holding the altitude. the throttle stick and the quadcopter is maintaining in the range of uh, 0.5 meters see I'm pitching forward and it's still holding the altitude despite the wind Flying with the rudder stick, rudder and elevator. And it's holding.
holding the altitude very well. Hope you can see the quad. No trotter stick movement. Altitude control is by the barometer, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to take control and land. Okay, now I'm taking control. And as you can as you can see I'm still able to control the altitude using the throttle stick. It's just less responsive like the NASA. Turn off the barometer. Okay. And now I'm gonna land. 